friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane, I am a luxury travel advisor based in Vancouver, Canada. We are here in Maui today, so we are actually gonna head downstairs. I actually have a presentation as I'm being hosted here by Norwegian Cruise Lines that I need to attend. Then we're gonna go and explore. We're gonna see what we get up to. We don't actually have a shore excursion planned today. Um, that was actually moved to tomorrow. So uh, we are doing a shore excursion with Norwegian Cruise Lines called the Best of Maui. Uh, so today we have a little bit of a free day. So we're gonna see what we get up to and let's get going for the day. We started off our morning with breakfast at the Aloha Cafe, which was the buffet on board the Pride of America. Unfortunately, during our sailing, there were limited restaurants open, so this was our favorite spot to eat breakfast during this cruise. After breakfast, we headed to the Mardi Gras Cabaret Lounge and Nightclub, where our morning sales session with the executive team from Norwegian Cruise Lines was taking place. It was a great update from Norwegian Cruise Lines and how things are improving for the cruise industry overall. It was then time to go out and explore. I had never actually been to Maui before, so I wasn't sure what to expect, especially as cruise ships only recently this spring started visiting the Hawaiian Islands again. Taxis to go to Lahaina were about $100 US per direction from the cruise port here in Kahului, so we walked to the Maui Mall across from the cruise ship port and browsed for a bit before heading back to the ship, exploring the Pride of America a bit more and spending the rest of the afternoon relaxing poolside. Norwegian Cruise Lines shuttled us travel advisors and media to the Plantation House at the Plantation Golf Course, which is north of Lahaina and Kanapali. It was so wonderful to see more of Maui and really enjoy the drive. It was an absolutely fabulous hosted dinner with Veuve Clicquot champagne served as we arrived. from Maui. So we overnighted here last night and now we are getting ready and heading downstairs for our best of Maui shore excursion hosted through Norwegian Cruise Lines. I'm really excited. This is my first time here on Maui so really really looking forward to seeing what Maui is all about and some highlights of some things you can do here on the island, especially when you are visiting Maui by a cruise. So yesterday, obviously, we took it very chill. Uh, we basically did walk to the uh, mall that is just across the street here from the cruise port, and then we came back, um, relaxed by the pool, it's really worth having a car rental here on Maui if you are visiting uh, or doing a shore excursion if you are visiting by a ship. Um, there wasn't, as I mentioned earlier in the video, there wasn't any uh, vendors selling last minute tours or anything like that that we saw. And obviously this video is being filmed in May of 2022. So things probably will eventually change but <laughs> as of right now that's kind of the situation that we are in. 
So we have our shore excursion tickets and we need to get downstairs to meet up with the rest of our group. So let's go. We left the Pride of America and walked through the cruise terminal building. Norwegian Cruise Lines does have a towel service here where you can sign out beach towels as you leave the ship if you need them while ashore. Our group was hosted on the Best of Maui shore excursion with Norwegian Cruise Lines. They did slightly alter the regular shore excursion for our group, however it was a great introduction to Maui and really enjoyed the shore excursion. Our first stop was the Iao Valley State Monument, which was so beautiful. We had about 45 minutes here, enough time to really take our time and explore the area. There is an outlook you can walk up some stairs to, however the mountains are visible from the bottom trail area that is paved if you are traveling with someone who is of limited mobility. Headed to our next stop, which was the Maui Tropical Plantation. Unfortunately, the shops were currently closed here on Mondays, however, the tram tour still ran for cruise line passengers. It was a great little tour of what Maui grows in the way of plants and produce. However, farming on the island has diminished quite a bit due to labor being more reasonable in other countries and costs of their produce being cheaper than what was being grown on Maui. Some farmers still exist, however, one of the largest exports Maui once had of sugar has been completely stopped now. During our tour, we were also given a demonstration of how coconuts are husked and cracked open. How's everyone doing today? Good. 
Okay, good. So welcome to the Maui Ocean Center Aquarium of Hawaii. My name is Tiara. I'm the head naturalist here. So if you have any questions while you're touring around, look for us in the blue shirts. We'll be happy to answer any questions. But a little bit about what you'll see here today. So everything that you'll see here, so the fish, the sharks, they are all found here in Hawaii. So they're all found around our islands here. We actually have a unique opportunity. We get to go out and collect most of these animals ourselves. We're on Maui only under a special permit. Um, and then because of that too, it allows us to release and return certain animals back out to the ocean. So we are unique for that. So if you ever get a chance to go snorkeling or diving here in Hawaii, uh, these are the type of animals you may encounter. Uh, so yeah, you'll see a few main buildings here. You'll see our living reef building. It gets the same because we do have all live coral here at the Ocean Center as well. So we do a lot of work caring for our corals. Step outside, you'll see our juvenile green sea turtles. You get to learn about that program, yeah. Um, and then we have a tide pole, which is a touch pole exhibit. Uh, touch some animals very gently underwater. And then you'll step inside our second building. A lot of interactive centers in there, but at the very end is our main attraction. That's our open ocean exhibit. Um, 750,000 gallons of water, so you can't miss that. That's where the tunnel is. So you'll be walking through all the sharks. We have 21 sharks in there, and then a couple of rays will be swimming next to you and above you. So fun to spend some time in there. And then you'll step outside, you'll get to see our 3D sphere. Did you guys see that dome as you were pulling in? Uh, so that runs every 30 minutes, but you all get a private showing at 1230. I'll be honest, I'm actually not one to support aquariums. So I was really intrigued to see what the Maui Ocean Center was all about. The conservation efforts and their education around sustainability was admirable. So if you are coming to Maui with a family, it is a great place to visit and spend some time. I've left a link in the description box down below if you would like to learn more about visiting the Maui Ocean Center. After walking through the various exhibits, we were able to take in the amazing 3D video in the sphere called Humpbacks of Hawaii. It was such a beautiful show, I highly recommend watching it if you do visit the Maui Ocean Center. After watching the Humpback Whale 3D experience, it was time for our hosted lunch at the Maui Ocean Center's Seascape Restaurant. I actually had the vegetarian options as I don't eat fish, and the food was actually really delicious. After 
lunch, we headed back to the ship. Checking in at security was honestly such a breeze. You would just scan your card and you were on your way. We spent the rest of the afternoon back at the pool with a few pina coladas. It's imperative that you make sure you keep track of time if you do your own shore excursions. As we were set to sail away, we had two pier runners arrive late. They were lucky the captain decided to wait 20 minutes for them. I've seen people being left behind on other cruises and it is your responsibility to catch yourself up with the ship if you miss the all aboard time and the ship sails away. We relaxed with a bottle of rosé wine on our balcony as we sailed away from Maui, enjoying a stunning sunset. Our hosted dinner tonight was in the Skyline restaurant, which is one of the main dining rooms on the Pride of America. Dinner was quite good and I really enjoyed my spare rib starter with a summer roll, followed by the roasted sirloin as my main course, and finally the tiramisu cake for dessert. Hi friends! So it is now the end of the night and I am very tired. It was a very busy day. It was a great day though. So I really hope you enjoyed today's episode here of our last day on Maui. And I do really suggest if you are coming to Maui on a cruise or just for a couple days, highly suggest renting a car or doing a shore excursion. Um, there really wasn't anything uh, outside of the port for last minute excursion availability or anything like that. Um, there literally was no vendors. So definitely make sure that in the next little while, if you are coming to Maui for sure, to either have shore excursions already pre-planned, uh, get them through the ship or uh, rent a car because the airport really isn't that far away. So if you did enjoy this episode, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help support my channel. And obviously there are a few more stops on this Norwegian Pride of America cruise. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as there are more episodes on their way. So thank you again so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye!